you honestly don't know how excited I am for this video. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to unbox the August 2020 Fairyloo box. following my channel for a little while you know that back in the day I had a subscription to fairy loot myself and I loved the fairy loot boxes so much it was definitely a moment that I looked forward to every single month like what is this box gonna arrive I want the book I want the items and now I'm very happy and so grateful and lucky to be able to say that I have become a fairy loot rep so that means that they sent me this box for free I just want to say thank you so so much to the whole fairy team for sending this box to me in order to show you guys all of the hopefully wonderful items that will be in this box and to give my honest opinion and this just excites me so much since I've been subscribed to their box previously I'm just I'm just shocked I, I just don't know what to say I cannot talk I'm stumbling over all of my words <laughs> I was by the way currently watching a lecture that is still going on at the moment but I just I need to unbox it right now like the excitement is too big I cannot focus on my lecture anymore I'm really glad that it's being recorded so I can watch it back. I will also be ranking kind of like the items in this box, like which one I like the least to the one that I like the most. I think in my next unboxings, I want to do like a tier ranking of the items. But for right now, I'm just too unprepared for that. And I'm too impatient to figure that all out. It just, I, I want to open this box and I'm pretty sure you want me to open it as well. Links to all of the like shops and creators of these items will be linked down below as well. So you can like check that out. And this is the beautiful spoiler card. Fun fact, the illustrator who creates these like spoiler card illustration type of things for fairy loot is a Dutch artist and I'm Dutch so that's always fun to see and this theme is called let the games begin. For now that's all I'm gonna look at and I'm just gonna not look and feel in the box. So the item that I'm holding right now is the item that I knew was gonna be in here. And that is a book sleeve. Ooh, wait, who is this? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is, first of all, a really big book sleeve with two different sides. I have no clue who these characters are. Oh, <laughs> it's like right on the tag right here. Elias and Leia book sleeve. So I have read the first book in the Ember in the Ashes quartet, it's gonna be. And <laughs> if you've seen one of my latest videos in which I am unhauling books, you saw that I am unhauling this one in uh, that video, but I really do like the characters. So I think it's so cool that they are on this book sleeve and it is a huge book sleeve. Let me grab a really big hardcover to show you what fits inside of this. Let's see if Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Oh yeah, I think it will fit. There's even... How do you call this in English? I don't know how you call this kind of like thing in English. A zipper? That's it, I think. To open the pouch so that is perfect so that your book won't fall out of the sleeve as well. And let's see if this huge hardcover fits in here. Okay, Fairy Loot is not playing over here. That is so nice because I have had book sleeve in the past before which were too small for big hardcovers and then that book sleeve is not really of any use. And if you have like multiple smaller paperbacks that you want to take with you, I think that this book sleeve will be perfect for that as well. We knew we had to include an item inspired by an ember in the ashes by Saba Tahir in this box. We collaborated with the ever so talented at Mona Lime Art to create the stunning Layla and Eli book sleeve. Make sure to protect your next fantasy adventure book with this stutter. Great, great first item in the box. Okay, let's grab another one. Okay, I feel a little box. Oh, oh my god, I forgot that all of these little worm thingies were inside of here as well. Ooh, okay, we have the golden egg bath bomb. Ooh, okay, the smell that I'm getting off of this one is so good. <laughs> I never know how to fully describe scents and everything, but of course, if you do not have a bath, which I fortunately do, this is not a super useful item for you. It is oatmeal, milk, and honey scented, which smells amazing, I can tell you that. It's not super heavy on the honey. It's not overly sweet. It actually smells quite fresh. And I want to see what this golden egg bath bomb looks like. Is it golden? That is, that is the thing that I want to know. <laughs> I don't want to breathe in the bath bomb. Okay, I'm gonna take it out super carefully and hopefully not make my whole room golden glittery. Although that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Ooh, oh my 
my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. Rumor has it that when you use the golden egg bath bomb in your bath, mere people sing out the clue of the second try wizarding task. This bath bomb was handmade with love by the amazing at little heart gift. I know that my boyfriend also really likes taking a bath with me, so we'll probably enjoy the nice scent and just everything off of this bath bomb. So to me personally, I really like this item. I will be washing my hands in a second though. A few moments later. Let's grab another item. I have no clue what this is. Ooh, okay. So in this package, we have a Fairy Loot exclusive metal bookmark. Oh my goodness. I hope that it is kind of visible on camera, but this is a stunning, stunning bookmark. Okay, I think that this one is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns because... I don't know, feeling like a beauty guru right now. This is a cat inside of the bookmark and I have read Sorcery of Thorns and there is definitely like a cat in the story which comes here as well. There are two swords on the top and on the bottom and this feels like a super sturdy, beautiful bookmark. So you also don't have to worry about damaging this bookmark because it's from metal. It can handle quite a couple of things, I think. Plus I love that it has like this tassel on it. Whilst you study ancient assassin tomes in the Red Church, make sure to use this black as night Mia and Mr. Kindly metal bookmark. It is designed by the talented Taracha and is inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I like. I like. And I can never have too many bookmarks. Another little, little package. I really like that Fairy Loot is packaging some of their items in like paper so that they don't use too much plastic. Ooh, it's a pin. This is insanely detailed. My current situation enamel pin. Display your loyalty to the spaceship's crew with the sassy Aurora Rising pin, which was designed by At Iron and Ink Designs and inspired by Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. My current situation could be adequately described as suboptimal. <laughs> I do have like a little cork flag situation thing on top of my desk, which I also got in a fairy loot box a couple of years ago on which I display all of the pins that I I have so this one will definitely go on there and this one has like a double security thing type of situation. I know that Fairy Loot is also doing this thing with tarot cards and I have no clue if it's like a game or it's just something that you can collect but we have two in the box right here so we have five of swords and six of swords and I'm gonna guess that because this is a cat and because of this woman and they match so perfectly with the bookmark that these cards are inspired by Sorcery of Thorns. Fairy Loot never disappoints with the fan art it's so so pretty. We have a magnetic button type of situation I'd say this is inspired by Scythe by Neil Schusterman that trilogy. It looks a little bit damaged there are like little specks of brownish on top of it but beside that super reflective and it is designed by Taracha who is also the illustrator for like I said the spoilery card and everything like that and I think that you could use this item like on your fridge or just any magnetic thing that you have. What is this? <gasps> okay <laughs> I think we have a beautiful notebook in here. Let me grab it. At first I was like, is this another hardcover book? Like what the crap is going on? But it is a beautiful hardcover notebook. And I was in need of one. And I never say that because I always have too many notebooks. Ooh, it is a little golden from the bath bomb though. <laughs> Monsters are only as real as the story that grant them life. And they only live for as long as we tell those tales. Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Minascalco, if I'm saying the author's name correctly. Gorgeous cover with beautiful illustrations. And on the inside, we have, again, some fan art, which is just insanely detailed and beautiful end pages as well. Need a safe space to write down your strategy to win. No worries, we got you. We present to you this stunning Prince Dracula hardcover notebook. The cover was designed by the talented at Noverentail or I don't know how to say this social media handles his name and the inside features beautiful artwork by Taracha She has created so many beautiful things for this box of characters from stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco We're so excited for you to use it I think I will be using this notebook as my future reading journal just because it is super slim And I think it will fit perfectly in the book sleeve so that I'm always able to write notes about the books that I'm currently reading which I have been loving lately. Let's see if that was the last item in this box. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it was. Now all that is left is the book of the month. I am 
pretty damn sure that I know which book it is because whenever Fairy Loot kind of like announces the new box's theme and they also give like a description of that book which will be in the box, I'm always too curious <laughs> about which one it is and then I always look it up. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm just gonna grab the book. There are always a ton of extras in these little pouches but let's see if I was correct about which book is gonna be in this August box. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> it is even so much more pretty in person than online and I didn't know that that was possible. So this is Star Daughter. I'm hoping I'm gonna pronounce the author's name correctly by Shveta Takrar. And all I know for now is that this is a urban fantasy inspired by Hindu mythology. The cover, like, oh! <gasps> Holy crap, it is so pretty. I know that this is also like a Fairy Loot special edition. So it has sprayed pages, gold, it's even shimmering. This is all that I needed in my life. Oh my God. It's personally signed by the author, an exclusive Fairy Loot edition. And I believe that the inside of the dust jacket has some artwork in it as well. Okay, so this was not a thing when I had my Fairy Loot subscription. I mean, are we ready? I don't think you could be prepared for anything like this, but I will just show you it. Oh my god, that's all I can say. I could keep staring at this like dust jacket, the inside and the outside. Okay, so let's just talk about the synopsis of this book. If the night sky holds many secrets, it holds Chital's mystery secret in the closest. A secret that explains why her hair is the silver of starlight or why some nights the stars call Chital by name. Stars like her mother, who returned to her place in the constellation Pusha years ago. Since that day, Chital has been forced to hide. But as her 17th birthday draws near, the pull from the sky is growing stronger. So strong that Chital loses control and a flare of starfire burns her human father, an injury only a full star's blood can heal. Chital has no choice but to answer the star song and ascend to the sky. But her celestial family has summoned her for a reason, to act as their human champion in a competition to decide the next ruling house of the heavens. Desperate to save her father, Chital agrees, but nothing could have prepared Chital to face the stars' dark history or the forces that are working to shut the gate between the realms for good. This premise seems so interesting to me. I love that it has to deal with stars and that it is a fantasy, an urban fantasy that focuses around that. I can say this 100 times in this video, but I am honestly so excited. I've heard so many great things about this book and I cannot wait to pick it up for myself. And it feels so smooth and it is so pretty. <laughs> so all the extra items in the little bag. First of all, we have the fairy scoop. And here you always have like an interview with the author. And on the back is the theme for next month. And that is Under the Sea, which I will also be unboxing. And like I said, I'm so grateful that I get the possibility to do so. Oh my God, I forgot about this. They always include a letter by the author with some beautiful fan art on the front cover. Is there anything more beautiful than this? Until so far, every single time that I get further into this unboxing, I'm like, how is this possible? The last thing in the pouch is a matching bookmark for this month's theme. Okay, I have taken a look at all the items which were featured in this box and I've put them in the order of least favorite to most favorite. To be honest, all the items are pretty great, but some of them are definitely a whole lot better than others. So my least favorite item is the scythe magnet. I mean, it was a little bit damaged, but also besides that, I like it, but nothing super special about this item in my opinion. So then we have the My Current Situation enamel pin. And like I said, I love displaying pins on my little flag. So it's just another beautiful pin that I can add to my collection. On number four, we have the golden egg bath palm. I love the scent of it. I think that it looks so gorgeous gorgeous with all the gold glitters, but it's just that I would put this on place number four for people who don't have a bath. And I know that quite a lot of people don't actually, um, but to me personally, I love it and I cannot wait to use it. And I think my boyfriend will be pretty happy as well. <laughs> An item that I would put personally on number three, and that is the metal bookmark. I haven't read the Nevernight trilogy. I haven't read most of the books that all these items are inspired by. I'm so bad. <laughs> I just think it's so pretty. I love the contrast in the metal. I don't know how they do this, but it looks so cool. And I really like the cutout of the cat, which you cannot really see right now. Can you? <laughs> and I love receiving bookmarks. I think it's just so 
wonderful. Number two, my second favorite item is definitely this notepad. I just think the hint lettering or just the whole design of this cover is so pretty and I love all the detail that has been put in this. So you already have like this elastic by which you can close the notebook. I just think the artwork is so detailed and pretty and gives off amazing autumn vibes, like spooky vibes. And like I said, I think it will be so useful for me to have this in the book pouch, which duh is the number one item in this box it's so big i love that it has a zipper i think that this is just the best item in this box that they have featured well fairy loot you know what i will definitely be putting this stunner of a book in this stunner of a book sleeve you guys as you notice i am just in love with this box and i am so grateful and glad that fairy loot sent this box to me and that i got to experience this whole like unboxing thing again it's really amazing i know that fairy loot is gonna do like a read along for this book as well so hopefully i will be able to join that now that uni has started and stress is coming in again fairly thank you so much for sending this box my way let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this box do you agree with my least favorite two favorite picks and i hope that you are all as excited as i am that the fairy loot unboxings will be back on my channel for a little bit i'm just ah i'm so glad <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.